In this video, we'll look at whether potassium carbonate, that's K2CO3, is acetic, basic, or neutral in water when we dissolve it in water. The first thing we have to know is the equation, the neutralization reaction that produced the potassium carbonate. So we have KOH, that OH, that tells us this is our base, and then H2CO3. The H in front tells us that this is our acid, carbonic acid, and that'll react to form our potassium carbonate in water, neutralization reaction. Once we know the reaction, we need to figure out the strengths of the substances involved. This table can be really helpful, probably a good one to memorize. We look down the table here, we're looking for KOH right here. Potassium hydroxide is a strong base, SB up there. For the carbonic acid, we don't see it here with the strong acids, so it's going to be a weak acid. Actually, here it is right here with the weak acids. So we know the strengths of the base and the acid. Now we can use the rules. So we're looking in our rules for a strong base and a weak acid. Here's a strong base, strong, weak, strong. Here we go, strong base and weak acid. The pH will be greater than 7. It'll be an alkaline solution. We also call that a basic solution. So in answer to our question here, if we put potassium carbonate, K2, CO3, and water, it will form a basic or alkaline solution. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.